Hello, today I'm going to demonstrate how to request innocent spouse relief through the Taxpayer Access Point or TAP. If you don't have a TAP account, you'll need to request one and create one before you can proceed with this action. If you do have a TAP account, when you log in, you'll be here on the home page. And the first thing you're going to do is select the More tab. From the More tab, there's a box on the bottom left-hand corner that says Innocent Spouse, and you'll select Request Innocent Spouse Relief. The first page is going to outline the statutory requirements and the purpose for Innocent Spouse Relief. It's going to outline the eligibility requirements, as well as the information needed to continue with the application. And once you've completed reading that, you can select Next. The first thing that's going to ask is for the innocent spouse to enter their spouse information. So they're going to put their taxpayer information. We're going to use a social. And if it involves a business, you can put the business name and the social, if it's a sole prop, an ITIN or an FEIN for any other business type. The next thing we're gonna do is select the tax program that you're requesting relief, relief from. If it's not listed here, you can select other for today. We'll request some relief for the 2020 tax year. And the, we'll enter the beginning and end date of that period. And we'll say the liability was $10,000. For this um, type of debt, it can either be separate debt or community debt, you know, if they filed separately or community if they filed jointly. And here we're going to let the department know if there is an IRS approved innocent spouse application under our new law. If the taxpayer has IRS approval for innocent spouse, we'll grant innocent spouse for the same tax program and periods and in the same manner the IRS did automatically, which is really nice. If it was granted, you will um, give the approval date and the next step you will um, give the approval letter, but for this taxpayer, we'll say they've only applied for innocent spouse and they went ahead and did that um, today, which is not 2024, <laughs> and we'll select next. Here, um, the taxpayer is required to provide supporting documentation um, in order to proceed. If you try to click next, it will not allow you to do so without attaching the supporting documentation. So I'll go ahead and add the supporting documentation. We'll do the innocent spouse relief documents. We're gonna say these are court documents. We'll call it the MSA and press okay. Once that's been uploaded, you can review the documents by selecting here, or if you determine that's not the correct document, you can remove it here. You can add more documents by selecting add attachment. But for today, we'll just add one. Now it's gonna ask if the injured spouse may come into play. That means you know a married couple, one spouse may have separate debt and the other spouse is seeking half of their current refund. So that would come into play here. You could select next, but for this taxpayer, we're gonna say no. And finally, it's gonna ask for the facts and circumstances regarding the request. So um, they're gonna to need to answer each of these questions, whether these things apply to them or not. And for today, we'll just mark no for all of these questions. And then we're gonna request that you provide additional um, evidence or describe the, the comments around the request. So for these, Today, I'm just gonna say, please help. Um, obviously a taxpayer who's gonna take more than this space can add that as an attachment, but you'll still need to put something here in order to get it completed. So once you're done with that, you'll select next. And this is a chance for the taxpayer to review the information they've submitted. If any of this is not correct, they can use the previous button down here before they submit. And you'll see here that the the signature is an e-signature and a declaration under penalty of perjury that the information is correct. If the taxpayer doesn't wanna submit this yet, they can save this draft and come back later. But today we'll submit 
and we're done. We have a confirmation number. You can always print the confirmation page, but if you didn't want to, you can always find the record of this on the account. So back here from the home page, if you select more, and then you're going to search submissions, you can see there's one here that we just generated. And if they want to see what was included in the application, they can select here. And um, if this is not correct or there was a duplicate, they can always select delete here um, to delete the submission. Um, but if they, they want to maintain that, they can go back to their submissions or they can click here and go back to their homepage. And that's the end and the completion of the innocent spouse application.